All right, what is going on, guys? Today I'm going to be showcasing just a couple of very basic horizontal flying machines for Minecraft Bedrock. This is PS4, Xbox One, maybe Pocket Edition even, but just Minecraft Bedrock in general. So, right now I'm going to build the most basic flying machine. This is just simply a one-way flying machine, so it won't come back to you. We'll be getting onto two-way flying machines a little later. But in order to build this machine, it's very basic. Whichever way you want the machine to go, you have to place a regular piston. So the machine's going to go this way. So I'm going to place a regular piston right there with a slime block on its face. And then on that slime block, you want to place a sticky piston and then another slime block. And then maybe a piece of obsidian so this machine doesn't take off. And then what you want to do is you want to place observers going into the blocks on both slime blocks. And that's literally the entire machine. That's it. That's all you have to do to make the most basic flying machine in Minecraft. So you can break that. And then in order to get it to take off, you just have to update this observer right here. And that machine will go forever. Or until it hits, an, or until it hits the obsidian or another unmovable block. That's the most basic flying machine. The downfall with this machine is that if you want to send it back, you unfortunately can't do it at the current state it's in, in bedrock. What you have to do to send it back, if you want to do it manually, is break these blocks and place a sticky piston. And you basically just have to switch the pistons around. So turn the sticky into a regular, and turn the, the regular into a sticky. And now it'll be able to go back once you update this. So that's one form of the most basic one-way flying machine. If you come over here, and we'll make another one. Alright, so once again, we want it to go this way, so we're going to place a regular piston going this way. Place a slime block on the face. And then come out here and place an observer going into that slime block like this. And you should have this. And now place a sticky piston right there with a slime block. And if you don't want it to take off, place better, or obsidian right here. But once you place this observer right here into this uh, slime block, it will take off. And that's another basic flying machine. This one's only one wide though, so I thought I'd show this one as well. But it serves the exact same function as the other one. It can't return without you manually switching out the pistons. So it's really not that useful. Unless you want to like clear a quick bamboo farm or something. But in order to get it to go back, you have to switch out and turn this regular piston into a sticky piston. Just like that. And you have to turn this into this, into a regular piston. And then update that observer. And that'll send it back. And those are just the two basic one-way flying machines. Once again, those aren't very useful, so we're going to get into a couple two-way designs right now. Alright, so getting into two-way flying machines. This first one is the B.O.B. Gaming Design. Credit will be down in the description to his channel. Uh, this is a very simple two-way flying machine. Unlike the other two, when you use this one, this one can automatically come back without you having to switch out the, uh, the pistons. It's basically doing the same thing, except it's just changing the power source to which piston is being powered. So. It comes over here to the station, and hits the station, and it'll come right back, all automatic, which is very nice, especially for bedrock, which is, makes this a lot, diff lot more difficult. But anyway, let's get into how to build it. All right, so to build this machine, what you want to do is place two sticky pistons and two slime blocks on the side of those sticky pistons like that, and then in front of the two sticky pistons, you want to place two more slime blocks, and then two more sticky pistons just like that. And we're already almost done. What you have to do now is maybe is place a temporary block right here underneath this outside slime block. And place an observer. Oops. Place an observer going up like that into that slime block. So it should look like this. It's the outside slime block. And then what you want to do is come down here. Place a temporary block right there. And then place an observer going up into that slime block just like that. <clears throat> so once again, everything here is sticky pistons. Two slime blocks. And observers going up into those two blocks. Just like this. Okay, now to get this thing to go off, what you want to do is you want to place a sticky piston right there. And a sticky piston right here. And then you just simply have to power those two. Which is very easy. Just go like this. And then you can go like this. And then just put a stone button if you want. And yeah, that machine will run into that. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull the uh, observers back, which will power the pistons. And then this machine will take off. And I'll show you how to make an automatic return station. So if you want it to automatically come back, you just have to go like this, break whatever block, and put the observer behind the uh, piston that it hits, not the, not the slime block. And coming out from that observer, you want to place, well, two blocks. All right, coming out from that observer, you want to place two redstone repeaters, just like that, going into a block. And down below, you want to go like that, place redstone, and then just run it along the side here. And then... And then come over here and place your uh, sticky piston just like that, and like that, and then just run the redstone into those pistons. Simple as that. Just like that. 
All right, there we go. And then you want to put two more repeaters right here, set to full, full ticks. And there we go, that's the entire machine. You can put a button here to do it manually too if you'd like. And then that'll pull back and the machine will take off. And what you just made there is a two-way flying machine with an automatic return station. So when we push this button now, the machine will go all the way down here and then it will automatically come back to the home station, which is very useful. This can be useful for farms and mob sweepers and other things. And now it'll automatically come back. Probably mess with the timings too, that might be a little long, but yeah, just do a little bit of experiment and see what you can come up with. That's the first design for the two-way flying machine. Alright, this next design is a little bit more vertical. Uh, this is also a very basic design, so what you have to do here is we just push the button and it takes off, and yeah. Also a two-way flying machine, very simple, just a little bit more vertical than the other one. Hits the station, and then it will come back. Okay, so to build that flying machine, what you want to do is you want to place four slime blocks in this easy pattern right here, just like that. And what you want to do is come over here and place a regular piston and a sticky piston like that. And then come to this side and do the opposite of that, so a regular piston and a sticky piston up top. And then what you want to do is place four slime blocks like this. And then come over here like this with a regular... Oops. And then come over here like this with a sticky piston on top. And place an observer going into this block just like that. And then come over here and place uh, a sticky piston with an observer going into this block. Just like that. And that is the entire machine. So hook it up with redstone. Just a 10 tick easy stone button and that machine will take off. And we'll make a station for it quick. And it will go till it hits obsidian. And then to make a station for it, very simple. You just want to take, uh, you can take an output from right here and run that into a block and then run that down here just like this. Alright, so have the observer uh, give power to that block right there. Bring it down here. And then full ticks for all these repeaters. And again, we need to place our sticky pistons. So right underneath your observers, place sticky pistons like this. Just like this. And that. And it's that easy. And then just connect them with redstone, and that's the entire machine. So we can put a button on this if you want. Just like that. And that'll send the machine back. So now if we push this button, you'll see that the machine will go all the way down to the other side. And when it hits the other side, it'll automatically return. So this is the second design for the two-way flying machine. Hits the station, and you can probably speed up the timings even, and it'll come back just like that. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the glazed terracotta flying machine design, as you see right there. In order to build the glazed terracotta design, you want to start out with two obsidian blocks like that with a button on top, just like in that order right there. You want to place a regular piston facing that way with a glazed terracotta block of any type on it with a, uh, one slime block, three slime blocks built out like that, and then one in the middle with a sticky piston uh, on the side there. And on the back of that sticky piston, you want to place an observer just like that. And that should trigger. And then that's half the machine already built. Uh, in front of that slime block, you want to place another glazed terracotta block just like that. And then on the side of that glazed terracotta block, you want to place another sticky piston. And just fill the rest in with slime blocks on the side right here and the back. And then you want to make sure you put an uh, obsidian block right there in front of that sticky piston to block it from firing when you put an observer uh, behind it right now. Make sure you don't forget to put that obsidian block there, otherwise it could fire and break the machine. So put that ob uh, observer right there and then the machine's done. You just have to push the button and then that regular piston will push it over and then it will fire. Alright, so now to build the return mechanism. So to set up an automatic return station, you want to set up an observer right there, taking an output from that observer on the top. You want to put two redstone repeaters set to full ticks right there with that observer going into one block and then two pieces of redstone dust on the side and have that running into a regular piston pushing the entire machine over with a block on top. And that's how you build the automatic return system. So that will automatically return when it hits that station. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for